What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to another Warframe video. So, Borrow's been here for about, like, six hours, and I was way too lazy to do it at launch. So let's go ahead and see what Borrow's got. I'll do a full inventory review, but yeah, tonight, guys, I will have my Chessa build guide out. It is fully formed, all the claw mods attained, all the Chessa build things situated. So, expect the Chessa video. Honestly, expect it like an hour or two after this video because I don't expect Borrow Katir to have the greatest new items. I've expected some kind of new JPEG. Maybe a JPEG of Wisp or a JPEG of like Nidus or something because, yeah, he's been just bringing JPEGs recently. But uh, yeah, I'll have my Chessa video out right after this goes out. I'm going to literally go like, we'll drop this video. I'm going to go eat some food. I'm going to go record the new uh, Chessa video and then we'll be live on stream uh, in that order. So yeah, it'll be a fun weekend for Warframe. Also, don't forget, too, that the, uh, there's uh, the Nabaris Knights event with the, like, Mother Tokens on uh, Dimos. You can do Sentient Surge and uh, Vile Discharge Augment mods for, like, the Akikor and the Embolist from Mother Tokens. So, yeah, that's going to be here for an entire month, so no rush on that. Borrow will be here for one day and 17 hours, so kind of rush on him as long as he's hopefully got some good stuff. All right, let's take a peek. I called it. I called it. Oh, is that a JPEG or not? Lotus? The Lotus Eater's login music. Okay, it's a Soma Chord song. Okay, okay. It's not a JPEG. It's definitely not a JPEG. It looks like a JPEG, but when you buy it, it's actually uh, music for your uh, Soma Chord in your orb. If you like that, okay. Come back next well, time I'm in the relay. It's not JPEG, so you can't call it a JPEG, all right? As far as the rest of his stock, let's see what we have for the full borrow review. To get a quick peek at it, it doesn't look that crazy, but it looks like he's got some pretty good prime mods. All right, so let's start with the mods for borrow. You got Prime Pistol Gambit. Very good on pistols. Although, keep in mind, there is that new mod, uh, Semi Pistol Cannonade that locks your fire and allows you to run the Corrupted Crit Chance mod, which gives you slightly more crit chance with no downside of fire rate. So yeah, I think the, I don't remember the name of the pistol mod, but it's like Corrupted Pistol Crit Chance or whatever like that. So yeah, this is still be this is still the best mod for pistols, like 99% of the time. Unless you're running Semi Pistol Cannonade, you can run the other one. But yeah, definitely get this if you don't have it already. Great on Mesa. Great on... I'm not going to list every pistol in the game that's good on because it's good on like every crit pistol in the game, basically. So get, go ahead and get this if you don't have it already. It is so worth 400 ducats. Prime Pistol Emma Mutation, the mod you could never fit on your build because it is so much drain for the Exilus slot. Uh, it's going to give you a bunch of ammo when you pick up... Uh, a bunch of pistol ammo when you pick up any kind of ammo. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend this because, it, you, like I said, it, there are ser literally impossible builds in this game involving this mod. Like my Acarius build, I can show it to you real quick here. It is impossible to fit this mod on there if you have a Riven, because some of the mods... The mod drain costs in this game just get so ridiculous that you can't fit this mod on there. So I would not recommend this one, unless you really want to try to fit it on there. Maybe, like, run a lower-ranked mod on the other slots. But yeah, it can give you a lot of ammo if you want that. I don't really think it's worth it, though. And you got another sniper... Another ammo mutation mod right here. Prime Sniper Ammo Mutation. I literally never use this. I would just recommend Vigilante Supplies over this, because Vigilante Supplies gives you crit tier increases. These Both of these mods do not pick these up, in my opinion. If you're a collector that wants every item in the game, sure, but if you're looking to just get the meta good stuff, this is not the meta good stuff. Moving on to appearance, speaking of the meta good stuff, we got a Mirage Immortal skin. I don't use this. I usually use the Mirage Grax skin, but yeah, Mirage is cool, so if you want that skin, go for it. And the rest of the stuff here is nothing too great. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, the Smita is nerfed, so we'll have the chest of video up tonight with the Count Kirby nerf in there. I will show how nerfed the Smita is as well. Uh, they did not buff the speed of the way they said they were going to the patch notes. It is still just as bad as before. So, But it actually works because they took away the loot ability too. You got the Gotla Prime and the Prisma Tetra as your uh, weapons from Borrow. The, the Gotla Prime, this only comes from Borrow, guys. So if you don't have this, get this. It's actually a pretty good rifle. Um, it's just a weird rifle. When the Gotla Prime inflicts a status proc, its next shot has a chance to be a super crit. That basically means a red crit. So you can get red crits with this thing, and it does not normally have the crit chance to get those red crits. So it has a special little passive where it can get red crits when it doesn't even deserve to. So yeah, fun thing, it's a lot of ducats, so 675 ducats. Dang, that's going to take you a while to farm. Uh, 625,000 credits, too. But yeah, a pretty powerful weapon. I should probably make a new build video for this thing, because a lot of people actually like it. And then Prisma Tetra. There's a, there's a Tenant Tetra, so yeah, this thing is just worthless. Mastery fodder at best. 
So go ahead and get that mastery fodder if you want it. But this thing is the got the prize above mastery fodder, thankfully. Let's have a new hotfix inbound as well. And for your miscellaneous tab back here, there are no boosters, anything of that nature. So all this stuff back here is probably not that great. I use this uh, Rashan Tour Child Tablet as like a little launch pad in my in my uh, orbiter, but yeah, it does not really look that great usually. And yeah. So as far as the full bar review, what I'd recommend you get. I recommend you get Prime Pistol Gambit. And I recommend you get the Gotva Prime. Everything else, forgettable at best. Um, if you want to like be flipping stuff for plat, um, there's not really the best options. I mean, you could you could stock up on Gotva Primes actually. You could stock up on Gotva Primes and sell those, but that's pretty expensive. So yeah, these have gone for like 300 plus plat in the past, like per per item. So if you do want to you know hold on to them for a while, you won't be the only one. Trust me, there will be other people doing that too. But you could you know hold on to this for like couple months and once it's been gone for a while you can sell it for hopefully 200 300 plat like before but yeah it's expensive item either way don't be selling it for cheap this better be over 100 plat you're selling this thing at the very least so that's basically it for bar up now as far as those impossible builds um also what's this hot fix to be about we hope you've been enjoying Kobe and the five fates as much we've been making it uh we continue hot fixes for a while i wonder if they'll be buffing Kobe at all because uh yeah, a lot of people have been complaining on Twitter to Pablo that Comey is, uh... Comey is not the strongest. I think she's okay, but she, yeah, she's definitely not meta at all. I did a long-ish long run with her last night. I was doing a generic slam attack build, basically. But it does work, to, to be fair, so... Yeah, as far as that prime pistol, pistol enemy mutation, as you can see right here, it is basically impossible to fit it on this build. We've got prime mod, prime mod, prime mod, prime mod, galvanized mod, Riven... Here's that crit chance one I was telling you about. If you don't have, if you have a weapon that doesn't need the fire rate as much, this is where you could replace a prime pistol gambit with creeping bullseye. I don't care about the fire rate as much on the Icarius, so I'm okay with 20% minus fire rate for a little bit more crit chance because I mean it doesn't leave that much ammo in the first place. So yeah, this is a great example of things that you can do to not get these mods he has today. You could get creeping bullseye instead of pistol gambit if you're okay with the minus fire rate. And you literally came to fit on primed pistol and mutation, so yeah, just run the normal one. Or run carrier, because carrier just got buffed. So see you guys in the next video. Appreciate all support. And yeah, well the Chessa. I'm gonna literally go record the Chessa video right now, guys. Chessa is basically good to go. He is he okay, so a, a quick uh preface before we get into the video that will be up in a couple hours. I have gotten him able to one-shot steel path. I have him giving me extra loot. Yes, he is doing about 10,000 damage per hit. With a lot of status chance too, and I put the proper build on. So yeah, looking for a business. He can do he can do a steel path exterminate by himself. You give him enough time. So and he's not even built up for the damage. So I'll see you guys very soon with that that video. We'll have a hot fix soon too. Hopefully they're going to be buffing Comey or something like that. Maybe making the new game mode endless because it really should have been endless. Might have a complaint video about the new mission soon, but yeah. Either way, guys, I'll see you very soon. Appreciate support and take it easy. Peace.